the general term or the rth term of the given series, let's denote it by ur, is equal to 1 upon the product of two components. The first component is the rth term of the series 1, 3, 5 and so on. That is 2r minus 1. And the second component is the rth term of the series 3, 5, 7 and so on. That is 2r plus 1. Now multiply and divide by 2. And this can be written as 2r plus 1 minus 2r minus 1 divided by 2 times 2r minus 1 times 2r plus 1. This is equal to half of, in brackets, 2r plus 1 divided by 2r minus 1 times 2r plus 1 minus 2r minus 1 divided by 2r minus 1 times 2r plus 1. 2r plus 1 cancels across the numerator and the denominator in the first term and 2r minus 1 cancels in the second term and therefore ur simplifies to half of in brackets 1 upon 2r minus 1 minus 1 upon 2r plus 1. Now put r is equal to 1. We get the value of u1 equal to half of in brackets 1 minus 1 upon 3. Put r is equal to 2. We get the second term u2 equal to half of in brackets 1 upon 3 minus 1 upon 5. Put r is equal to 3. We get u3 equal to half of in brackets 1 upon 5 minus 1 upon 7. And so on. Put r is equal to n. Un is equal to half of in brackets 1 upon 2n minus 1 minus 1 upon 2n plus 1. Now we add all of these equations. The left hand side is equal to the sum of the first n terms of the given series. Let's denote it by Sn. And on the right hand side, note that alternate terms cancel. And we are left with only two terms on the right hand side which is therefore equal to half of, in brackets, 1 minus 1 upon 2n plus 1. And this is equal to half of, in brackets, 2n plus 1 minus 1 divided by 2n plus 1. 1 cancels in the numerator, and therefore, the sum to n terms, Sn, is equal to n upon 2n plus 1, which is the required answer.